Hey, third graders, it is Tuesday, May 19th, our second day of multi-step word problems. Let's get started. So we have two word problems today, both multi-step. And remember, it's important that while we read our, our word problems to underline the important information. Excuse uh, the background noise, that is little Boo playing with her toy. All right, so it, the first question. McKenna has 34 stuffed animals. Kenley has twice as many as McKenna. How many stuffed animals do the two girls have in all? So you can see I underlined 34 stuffed animals. I also underlined Kenley has twice, and you'll notice twice is actually written out as many as McKenna. How many stuffed animals do the two girls have in all? So there's going to be a couple of steps to this. They're asking us how many do the girls have in all, but we can't just add 34 plus 34 because that's not what they're asking us. That's not what they're, the question is telling us, okay? So we know McKenna has 34 stuffed animals. Kenley has twice as much. So our first step is to add 32 plus 32 to find out how many Kenley has. Or we could multiply 32 times 2. So I'm going to lower this. So 34 plus 34 is equal to 68. If we were to multiply it, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. So how many stuffed animals does Kenley have? She has 68. The second part of our question, I mean the second step of our um, problem, asks how or as, is asking us how many stuffed animals do the girls have in all? All right, so now we know McKenna has 34 stuffed animals and Kenley has 68. What do we need to do? We need to add Kenley's stuffed animals plus McKenna's. So Kenley has 64, McKenna has 34 which gives us a grand total, you can see here, um, 68 plus 34 gives us a grand total of 102 total stuffed animals. So total means combined, that means Kenley and McKenna's stuffed animals combined. Let's see how we did, nice. All right, the next question, Aria was having a party for her friend. She ordered two pizzas for the party. Each pizza has 24 slices. When the party was over, 17 slices were left. How many slices of pizza were eaten at the party? So you'll notice I underlined two pizzas because she ordered two. Each pizza had 24 slices. When the party was over, there were only 17 slices left. So the question that they are asking us is how many total slices of pizza were eaten at the party? So step one, we need to figure out how many total slices there were, okay? So if, there, if Aria ordered two pizzas, that means that we would need to add 24 plus 24 or we can multiply 24 times 2 in order to figure out how many slices there were in total. So 24 plus 24 is 48 or if you multiplied 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, 2 by 2 is 4. So there were a total of 48 slices. But now we need to go work on our second step. Let's reread here. When the party was over, 17 slices were left. So how many slices of pizza were eaten at the party? If there is a total of 48 slices and only 17 were left, how can we figure out how many were eaten? We need to subtract. We need to subtract the total 
the number of slices left from the total number of slices. So the number of slices that were left were 17. There was a total of 48. When you subtract that, you are left with 31 slices left. All right. So that is um, our, that's our problems for today. We did work down two today. And tomorrow we are going to continue with two more multi-step word problems. And um, I hope that this is a quick and simple review for you all. Remember, word problems are something that we've worked on all year long. I hope you all have a wonderful day.